In this video, we're going to talk about how to perform some basic operations within Excel. So let's start with addition. Let's say if we want to add 24 plus 6. 24 is in cell A2 and 6 is in cell B2. So what you need to do is type in equal A2 plus B2 and that will give you 30. So if you want to add 18 plus 5, it's going to be equals a3 plus b3 and that will give us 23 and so that's how you can add two cells in Excel now you can add more than two let's say if you want to add three you can write equals a2 plus a3 plus b2 so I can add any number of cells that I want to 24 plus 6 that's 30 plus 18 will give me 48 now sometimes you may need to find the total of an entire column. In this case what you could do is type in equal sum and then open the parenthesis so that's shift 9 and then select the entire column and that will give you the sum for that column. So if you add up 24 plus 18 plus 25 plus 120 that's 187. And so you could do the same thing for uh, the next column if you want to. And then you could add up the two columns together. And so 187 plus 27, that's 214. Now, if you wish to subtract, let's say 24 minus 16, you could do equals A2 minus B2 and that will give you 18. Let's say if you want to subtract three cells equals A2 minus B2 minus B3 and so 24 minus 6 minus 5 will give us 13 and so that's how you could perform subtraction within Excel. Now the next operation we need to perform is multiplication. So let's say if we want to multiply 25 times 10. We know that 25 times 10 is 250. We can write equal and then A4 times, which is shift 8. So if you type in shift and then the number 8, you got to hold it together. You're going to get the multiplication symbol times B4. That will give us 250. Or if we want to multiply A5 by B5, so that's, I mean, not B6, but B5. So that's 120 times 6. 12 times 6 is 72. So 120 times 6 is 720. And that will give us that answer. And so that's how you can multiply two numbers. If you wish to multiply three numbers, you could do this. Let's use B2. So that's 6 times B3. That's 5. 6 times 5 is 30 and then times B4, which is 10. 30 times 10 is 300, and that'll give us uh, that answer. So that's how you can use the multiplication uh, function within Excel. And then division. So let's say if you want to divide two cells. 24 divided by 6, that's 4. So if we write equals A2, and then the backslash represents division. On a keyboard, the backslash is on the bottom right next to the shift button. So if you type in A2 divided by B2, that'll give you 4. Or if you do A5 divided by B5, 120 divided by 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2, so 120 divided by 6 is 20. Just add the 0. And so that's how you could perform basic division within Excel. Now, let's say if I want to multiply two numbers, let's say 7 times 6, I don't need to enter 7 and 6 into two separate cells. I can type the whole thing in one cell. So I can use Excel as a calculator. So if I want to type in 7 times 6, you got to write equals 7 times 6, and you could just get the answer 42. And then if you look at the top, you could see the function that you the operation that you wrote to get to 42. Now let's say if 
I want to add two numbers. I can write equal 5 plus 9, and that'll give me 14. Or if I want to subtract, equals 27 minus 8, 19. Or if I wish to divide two numbers, let's say 72 divided by 9, that'll give me 8. So any type of operation that I wish to perform, I can do it right in that cell. Now let's say if I have a mixed operation, 5 plus 8 minus 4, that'll give me 9. Or let's say I want to find out 24 times 6 divided by 12, that'll give me 12. And so you could perform mixed operations or any kind of operation that you want to do. So let's say if you want to add two fractions, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3, you could do that. And so that's 0.8333. And then you could take that decimal, convert it to a fraction. And so this is going to be, if you go to this dollar sign, click it, and then more counted formats, click fraction up to three digits, you could convert that into a fraction. So you can add two fractions within Excel. So as you can see, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 is 5 over 6. You could also subtract two fractions. So for instance, 2 over 5 minus 1 over 4. So that's 0.15 as a decimal. And then convert that into a fraction. So let's change the accounting format from accounting into fraction. And then select up to three digits. So that's 3 over 20. So 2 over 5 minus 1 over 4 is 3 over 20 as a fraction. Now, it doesn't end there. We can also multiply two fractions. So let's say if we want to multiply 3 over 8 by 12 over 5. Now for this, I would use parentheses. So 3 over 8, you want to put that in parentheses and then multiply by the other fraction, 12 over 5. And so that's 0.9 and then convert it into a fraction. So we'll follow the same process. And so 0.9 is 9 over 10 as a fraction. And you can see your original operation here. 3 over 8 times 12 over 5 is equal to that fraction. And now let's try dividing two fractions. So let's say if we want to divide 9 over 8 by 3 over 16. So make sure to enclose each fraction within a set of parentheses. So 9 over 8 times 2 over 16, actually it's supposed to be divided by. So let's uh, go ahead and fix that. Okay, so the answer is 6. We don't need to convert that into a fraction. It's already an integer. And so now you know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions within Excel. Now there are some other things that you can do in Excel. Let's say if you want to find 2 to the third power. That's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So one way you can do this is you can type in equals power and then 2 raised to the third power. So you write as 2 comma 3 and that'll give you 8. So let's say if you want to do 4 to the third power. That's 64. Now, if you don't want to use the power function, you can write equals 2 and then shift 6, which will give you that arrow. So 2 raised to the third power, 8. Or equals 4, shift 6, and then 3. 4 to the third power is 64. So that's how you can raise a number to an exponent. So let's say if we want to find 5 to the fourth power. That's 625. Now, the next thing you need to be familiar with is the square root function. For instance, the square root of 25 is 5. The square root of 49 is 7. Or the square root of 81 is 9. So that's how you can use the square root function. Another way in which you can do that is you can raise 25 to the one-half power. And so that's another way in which you could use the square root function. Or you can do 49 raised to the one-half power. 
wait, I need to put that in parentheses. So that'll give me 7. Or we can do 81 raised to the 1 half power. Now let's say if you want to find the cube root of a number, you want to follow the same process. For instance, the cube root of 8, you would write it as 8 raised to the 1 third. And so that'll give you 2. Or if you want to find the cube root of, let's say, 64, that will give you 4 because we know that 4 to the third is 64, which we had it here. So the cube root of 64 is 4. And so that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to perform some basic operations within Excel. Thanks for watching.